What's up, Homivore fam? This is the week nine Renault update. It's getting on a little bit later this week just because we had a lot happening and I wanted to show you guys once the plaster was finished, which it is. It just needs to be sanded. They're gonna do tomorrow, but you won't be able to see the sanding. So I can film that today. It's Sunday currently and we're in here doing some stuff that we need to do before the sanding happens. So I'll time lapse a bit of that, but thank you so much for being here and let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so this is this week's update. I thought I would swing the camera around and show you guys everything because the plastering is now finished. And they're gonna be coming to sand tomorrow. And this is what we're working with. So here's our square set window. It's hard to see, but this stuff here, it's actually called tear away because ha ha, they tear it away. Um, and they've square set this whole window. All the ceilings are squared up. Take a look at that bulkhead above the window. I'll flash back to what it looked like before here for you too. Our servery. I just can't believe we've gotten to where we are. Like I could cry, I'm so happy. <laughs> but look at this ceiling. Here we go, we'll come through here. So this ceiling now continues all the way into the kitchen. So you know what that means this week, guys? Painting. And when the painting's all done, you know what that means? Flooring. And the flooring's all done, you know what that means? Kitchen. So here's a better view of our kitchen, where it will be. So the kitchen, if you've been following along, you'd know the kitchen's gonna go the whole way along this wall here and then here so let's walk through the kitchen real quick and I can show you guys where everything will be so if you come in our front door let me start back here if you come in from our front door and walk towards the kitchen the first thing in this corner is going to be a pantry and then next to that we're going to have a fridge and another fridge and they'll be reversed so that the doors open you know facing each other um, then we're going to have a bank of drawers, then the oven, then another bank of drawers, and then we turn the corner to where the window is. Under the window we'll have the sink, then we're going to have a blank cabinet, then we'll have the dishwasher, and then another bank of drawers. And then over here, the bench will come flush with the edge of this, because it's going to be a servery. The reason it's gonna come flush is because, if you take a look here, if it comes past flush, it would hit that. So I don't really want it to have overhang. But yeah, look at that square, look at that, compared to what that used to look like. Christian's doing some sanding and um, we're gonna do a bit more patching today. Just little things like the architraves. So these like now holes on the architraves. Um, let me show you guys too, the toilet's been all, or the back of the toilet the system has been all plastered in. So, here we go. That's that little wall that we had to build. So, in my mind, this is like a shelf plant, uh, a plant shelf, a shelf plant, oh my God. A plant shelf up here. And what we actually did, because this room was gonna be super tiny, is we've reversed the door. So this door now swings out instead of in, and ironically, perfectly hits the bead on the jam up there, so it doesn't hit the other door, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then just what you guys have already seen in here, which is the square set up here. And then we DIY'd a textured wall with mortar. And I call it the cake frosting method. <laughs> I made it up myself. Um, it's still drying. It's probably gonna take a little while to dry just because it's cooler weather at the moment and mortar can take a while to cure. 
and I don't know if we're going to be able to paint it just yet. So we're just going to ask the painter what he thinks if we have to leave it 30 days. We'd rather do that than have the paint and the finish ruined. So that feature wall may be painted later. But the ceilings have been all squared up. The closet, I don't know if you guys remember, but this used to just be like block, cinder block. So that's all seamless now and gorgeous. Um, our shelf. Christian had them plaster right across here to kind of integrate it properly because it was just a separate unit. So once it's all painted and sanded, it's going to come up pretty amazing. He's working on that right now. And I'm going to help him in just a second. And here's Frankie's closet. So, yeah, we're just going to spend the day fixing up these all over the... all over the place where the um, chippy put those nails in the what's that stuff called architraves where the chippy put the nails in the architraves so like this one here loving this yard lock so far we actually set up a tradie code for our trades to come in and out with and oh it's been amazing i actually really really like it so might do a little review on it later when we have a bit more time but yeah let me stand back here and kind of pan around the place so cannot believe how much it's changed since we first got the keys painter starts thursday so christian and i are going to do a bunch of patching that we have to do in the architraves and stuff that the plaster is we don't really want to pay them to do because they're easy we're going to get onto those today i'll time lapse a bit of that work I just pushed this button, is it recording? Yeah, I'll time lapse, I think. Okay, for patching. This is a little demo, a little demo. A little demo. How to fill a hole. Christian, they know how to fill a hole. <laughs> just patching the architraves right now, because obviously they had to be nailed in. And less is more, I suppose, with this part. But in the corners, I don't know if you guys can see, and I'll show you me patching one. But these corners, they're slightly off because our walls aren't perfectly straight. And you guys know that they're block and render. So basically, we have to fill them as best we can where when we sand them, they'll come up smooth. So they've kind of got to be feathered on whichever side isn't proud. The side that is proud is not feathered. So. This one's done. I'm just gonna fill these screw holes real quick. Christian's the patching king on this job. He's definitely done the most out of all of us. Apart from obviously the plasterers, which are guns in their own right. I'd also like to tell you all that I am not a confident ladder climber. <laughs> so bad at ladders, like, I don't know. I'm not good with heights. I feel like I have vertigo or something. Christian just makes fun of me and says that I'm just, you know, stupid. Can't <laughs> stand on the ladder. But I swear I have a problem. There's a medical problem and he should feel bad for making fun of me. So um, this corner is actually not too bad now that I've said that to you guys. So I just press the mix in there. You just gotta tap it in. Tap, 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 tap it in. And 
So anything less is more sometimes, but I try to do it as, as smooth as I can. And see those lines that have come out? You can always sand those off. Those are okay. It's just when you end up with this huge excess and it doesn't dry nicely. Hang on. Change sides of the ladder. Don't film me. <laughs> it's not funny. No, you can't see what I can see. What can you see? Look out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's it. You did. I done did it. So, you see how I'm up a ladder right now? You won't see this often. I can't film you like that. If ever. Know. You don't have to hold it up. I do. Otherwise, it's like this. Why are you, why are you on a ladder? It's like, look, can we just see what's happening here? <laughs> That's why you're coordinated on the ladder. It's because I don't know when to use one. <laughs> Come right here, Christian. Get an action shot. I don't scrape hard, I just scrape flat, alright? Christian's gonna shuffle the ladder into here for me. I'm gonna hold the camera for a sec. Best part about using an action camera to vlog is that it doesn't matter if you get plaster on it. <laughs> you can clean it. This looks cool on the camera, the wall. I know, I um, already filmed a bit of a thing on it. It's like camera or something. Looks like amazing cake for us now. I know. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> I need to, when I make enough money, I'm probably just going to hire a cameraman without opinions. Because <laughs> right now, because I'm broke, I just have to go with what I can afford, which is free, which is Christian. Guys, uh, comment down below if this camera work is jacked. Yeah, it'll work. Because we're going to have a problem. Hindering my YouTube career. I get sore arms. He even turned the music off to film, guys, which is good because last time he didn't, and I got a copyright. You know, sometimes when we film, the whole thing's like a blooper. <laughs> it's like wonky or. Guys, our plaster has been here so much that when our two-year-old came yesterday, she asked where Maddie was. It's our plaster. <laughs> every time she comes, he's here. Also, I'm shocked she remembered his name. Hilarious. Ready? <laughs> Christian's already making fun of my ladder climbing skills. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's Renault update. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram, I put a bunch of stuff in stories. And thank you so much for being here this week. Stay tuned because the next one's gonna be a big one. Today, I don't know if you can see behind me, but how cool is that? So I had to go at rendering today. I wanted it to be super textured. I filmed the whole thing, don't worry, and um, it's a separate video. Look at that. So it's kind of hard to see on camera. It looks like the brick texture is coming through, but the way I've done it is actually I've just left little gaps for the brick texture and then kind of made up my own technique. I don't know if there's rules, what's right and what's wrong, but I just started to do what I felt looked right. As it turns out, I can DIY. That's right, Christian, I can. That's right. Let's see how it turns out, eh?